Hey guys, welcome back to another Dungeon Craft from Nether Void, also known as John. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been waiting to do for a long time. Uh, and now that I got my sorting system all set up and stuff, and it works really awesome, um, I can start building a lot of those other automated machines and stuff. So today I'm going to be building an auto uh, wheat farm. It's going to collect the wheat, replant the wheat, turn it into bread, and pump it right into my organic chest here. Uh, and fill up the bread here. Um, so let me get everything, well, all the little machines and all that crap I'm going to need. And there's one thing I'll build that I'll show you how I build it and what it does, but the other stuff I'll just prepare beforehand. So hold on, let me get all that other stuff ready. And something I wanted to show you just real quick, what I just found out with project tables, is if you put the um, recipe in the project table, you don't have to put any more materials there. It'll just pull it right out of this space right here. I need six chests, so I just do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice, huh? then I can clear that out and do whatever I'm doing next. So I just thought you'd really quick want to see that. It's pretty sweet, so I'm going to move on to my build, actually. Be right back again. Okay, well, I got a lot of what I need, and as you can see, especially from these 12 frame motors, it's kind of an expensive build, mainly, mainly with iron. This took, like, at least three stacks of iron, I would say. Um, the rest of it's not too bad. There's just a lot of it, like all these state cells and all this red power stuff. Um... I went through a lot of redstone to make all that junk. So let's get down there. Oh, I think at first... No, let's see. So that's sorting room. And then auto crafting room is actually going to be right here. For now, it's blue electricity room. And then let me go down one more. And I will cut out what is going to be the auto farm room. So I'll bring it back when this room is ready to go. Ooh, I, I hear a slime. So... Since this, uh, these bread that I'm going to be making are going to be coming up so far from the depths of my house up into the, the, uh, the organic chest here, I decided to create some mag tubes, and what that will do is speed up the delivery of those. This is a red power item. Uh, you can, it's a high speed tube, basically, and you have to, uh, accelerate the item when it goes into the mag tube, and then decelerate when it comes out, so it needs a little bit of extra stuff. You also need blutricity. To power the accelerator so let's just get making some mag tube I think I'm gonna need let's say 24 of those so that means I'm gonna need 20, uh, 24 6 6 36 fine copper should be easy enough to get let's do this uh, one, two, three, four, okay and my diamond draw plate to make that copper um, it was copper was it copper coils or something like that well we're about to see I guess Fine copper wire. Wow, my diamond draw plate's getting a little low here. I mean, I've used it a lot, and I had to use it a, a, a ton for those, um... Well, that keeps happening a lot to me. For those frame motors. So, okay, I got that. I'm gonna need lots of obsidian. Let's just get that much. Need lots of glass. Good thing I cooked a bunch of it. Oh, wow, I'm already getting low on glass. Uh, I should probably cook some more. I'm also getting low on sand. Um... As you can see, I'm kind of running out a little bit. I'm having to do half stacks of 32 now. Um, probably need to set up another quarry soon. That should get me a lot of um, redstone and some other stuff. I'm going to have tons of diamonds coming out of my ears, though. I don't really need them that much. Maybe I should make some diamond armor soon and then enchant it or something. So since I don't have my uh, machine set up, I just kind of do come down here and do this. Uh, pop it in here. This is good enough. Um... But once I get my machine set up, I'll be able to just... And it's really not that e hard to do or anything. I just haven't done it. Uh, so I have what I need to make the mag tubes. Again, with this... Uh, oh, uh, yeah, obsidian pie. I'll tell you about those in a little bit. With the um, project table, you can just do that. So I need... I, oh, oh! That's plenty. Much more than you needed. I've already... Uh, I don't... I need to train my thing to sort that. I probably should train it to sort mag tubes as well. So let's do this. Let's do that. It's already trained for this. these two things. So let's just have it sort that back out. Let's just get rid of some of this junk, too, since I had to... When I was creating the, the lamp area, I uh, went kind of crazy in there. So I, I cleaned, cleaned out between the two levels. All right, so we got that. And I think I did a bunch of these pneumatic tubes. I'm going to have to take those out. Let's teach my thing, um, let's teach my sorting system about mag tubes. E where do I have my regular tubes? Those are all build craft pipes. I like to kind of keep everything together. 
Uh, I can put it here. Let's see. Let's put this uh, over here, I guess. That's fine. So, mag tubes. Oh, I didn't make accelerators. That's what I didn't make. And I got copper right there. Let's just put that here, I guess. That's fine. So now that'll sort, too. As you can see, I've got plenty of sorting um, space. Now, what I had started to do is just extend this... Oh, extend this uh, organic tube down a little bit. But here's where I'm going to do... Oh, you know what? That's where I'm going to have to put my accelerator. I'll probably hook it up to the electricity coming right off here. Um, so let me go craft those real quick. Probably should get those other tubes before they... Oh, I'll just do it in a minute. So I'm going to need an accelerator and a decelerator. And I think it does have a specific direction. I just don't remember what it is. We'll have to do it when I set them up. Accelerator. Okay, and they're both called accelerators. You just have to make two. Ah, okay. The blue alloy ingot might be a little tough because I used a bunch of those for the frame motors. Yeah, I'm out of that. So luckily it's just silver. This, These two items are so easy for me to get. I don't really care. Now the red alloy ingots, much more resource intense for me because... I use that red zone so often. I love this. So I can just do this now. Ooh, oh, oh, don't take that. I need it. All right, so. Might be getting a little low on red alloy, alloy wire. Probably going to have to make more of that, actually. What was that up here doing? Oh, accelerators. Uh, we don't really need those. Let's just wait for this. Uh, we need eight of those, don't we? Uh, let's see. What else can I do while I wait? Um, maybe maybe red, more red alloy wire. Here we go. That should do it. I think I still have some downstairs, but just to be sure, I'll get 12 more now. I might even need more than that. Man. Really wish I had like 10 stacks of redstone. I might buy that out of the market if anybody puts it up on the market. Oh. You know, it's fine. I can sort. Let's just get one more of those. And we'll make those now. And I do need... Oops. I do need uh, more obsidian. I love how when I do quarries, I get tons of obsidian. I get some obsidian out of it, so that's cool. How much? How many more of those can we make? Well, that ten bars. Let's fill that guy back up. Let's put a whole bunch of it in there. We never have to make that junk again because I mean, silver I don't run out of, so I don't really, not really worried about um, using it all up. Okay, so there's that recipe. Let's see. Bam. Surprised there's no glass. Oh, well, there's no glass because it's not a tube. A couple of accelerators there. All right, let's sort that back in. Okay, cool. All right, so we got our accelerators. I don't have any blue tricity, my blue electric wire. Should have just grabbed some out of the chest upstairs. Well, I'll be back when I get that. Hold on. All right, so it's a good thing I did stop the camera because I also forgot to get my uh, screwdriver, and I also refilled my BT battery on the way up here. So I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to run it across. So the, the deceleration is going to happen here. And I think it's the closed side. See how it, that side's closed a little bit? So how is that looking? Let me go over here and see. Let's see. Yeah, that is the side. Pretty sure. Yeah, see, that's... the. The more purple side is the side that's the accelerator. So this is deceleration, I'm pretty sure. How am I going to hook that up? I wonder if I can just do it like that. Let's see if I can just go bam. Is it not going to go here? It probably won't. There we go. And there. Oh, there we go. Is it lit up? That's supposed to be blue. Ah, ha ha. There we go. It's powered now. So just put my mag tubes here. Should be one there. Okay, sweet. Now I'm just going to go down to each level and lay these mag tubes. Um, this is going to really help because I'm going to have other automated stuff like um, wool farm and stuff like that. And it's going to be deeper and deeper in my house. So I'm going to have to move all that stuff up quickly. Oh, why did I do that? I just totally skipped a level. And these mag, tube, these mag tubes are going to help me do that. So in each of the rooms also I'm just going to have to expect... Wow, come on, really? that I'm going to have these mag tubes kind of sticking through the floors. And I probably could move it to the very edge. But for now, it's fine. I'm not that worried about it. Um, hmm, how am I going to do this? I have to go down to, into the in-between rooms here. So here's where I set up all those lamps. That's all I needed is that. There we go. I really hope this works. Now, the way I think it's going to work is I'm going to mark 
this stuff yellow so that when it actually gets up up to the uh, tube up there it should funnel right into the yellow um, pneumatic tube up to the chest there and it shouldn't go into the white and it shouldn't go into the sorter because sorters I don't think are considered inventories because it's going, going to go to the nearest inventory it should be that top chest up there but if not I'll figure out a different way to do this maybe I'll have to use like a teleport pipe which I actually have because I wasn't sure if it was going to work um, that okay so we're done with that Let's, might as well hook up our accelerator now well it's probably going to be right there we'll do that last because I'm not sure how okay I'm not sure how this is going to end up so here's my project chest here I didn't bring a project table but since I don't have any uh, stuff to build anyway I'm just going to go all the way up to the top to build stuff oh man I need water alright hold on let me go upstairs and get refill these buckets um I did set up a, you know, I probably, yeah, I was going to take this downstairs. I set up a unlimited water source here, but I really need to set one up downstairs. It's going to be tons of water, obviously, to be setting up, or setting up tons of water for this farm. Um, so let's do that here, too. Well, actually, I don't need any of this part, so maybe I could just do this. Just do it, like, right here. All right, sweet, sweet. And, okay. Again, I don't, uh... That didn't really work. There we go. It still didn't work. What the heck? What's going on here? There we go. Okay. Again, this might take a while, this build. I'm not really sure how long this is going to take. But um, a while is going to be my guess. Which is very informative. It's going to be... How long is it going to take? A while. Oh, cool. Okay. So the way I'm going to set this up is... The water off the farm is going to flow this way and push all the the uh, junk down into a tube over here or maybe on this side that way I can auto craft out here and go up this tube that's what I'm gonna do um, so how did I set this up oh great I got a, we got a skeleton or I mean a, a zombie bound banging on one of these doors uh, let's see alright let me consult my test configuration here and see how much space I need and where I need to start building this um, farm. Once I get some of it built, I can build a lot of it without looking back at my at my test build. Hold on a second. All right, so I think I know how this is going to work. And here's the hard part for the next floor down is going to be that this stuff, the dirt for the farm is actually in the ground. Um, so I think, whoa, what the heck? It's a little bit of lag or something? So I think, let's see, the frames are there, and I think the pistons are here. Um, right up against the wall like that. Let's see. Is that right? Or is there one space? Because I'm kind of flipping it around. It was actually, actually the pistons are on this side. What am I doing? Alright. Okay, so... Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I think I have six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the pistons are up against the wall. Some of this build is actually in the wall, which kind of stinks, but whatever. All right, so let's lay down. Wait a minute. No, that's where the water is. These are the pistons, which means this needs to be plugged up. Okay, so basically the way this is going to work is pistons are going to hold the water back. So I'm going to set that up first because I can't set the water up without the pistons extended. And then when you hit, when I hit the button the uh, pistons will drop, let the water in, which means probably just need that. And then everything's going to start going. So, how did I set this up? Hold on, you know, I'm going to have to keep going back and forth with my test world. Let me take some screenshots. Be right back. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could do this without screenshots. Okay, so I got it set up. Let's see if the water is going to be there. That means the there's going to be a line of blocks here. And then, I think I have to dig the wall out right here. Uh, sorry if it... Well, it should be fine. The brightness should be fine, actually, now. Uh, okay, so I dig the wall out, and the button press is going to come in here. Let's see. Button press comes in. Let's see. So it runs along here, and that's where it runs. But the button button press is going to come in, like, about here. So the way I did this was I just kind of set it up. Um, 
Let's see. I set it up. Oh, wait. I don't even have all my red power stuff. I, I uh, set it up so the button will be coming from the top, from the top floor. That way, um, I can just press the button while I'm up there. I actually set the button up, even though I'm going to have to reset it. Um, so I set the button up. I'm going to be able to press the button up there, and then hopefully, what I'm going to be able to do... Oh, this is not going to work because it's opposite now. State cells, which I can't stand that they do this, but they only work in one direction. At least what I want it for. And, okay, I thought that was a state cell. Really want the state cells for timing. How long the signal should be on for. Oh, yeah, see, the, the signal's going to have to come in from that side. All right, well, that's easy enough change. So I'll put the button here now. I don't think I have a button, do I? Can I, make, can I do this? No, I need stone. Let's go see if I got one in my project chest here. Again, these videos are just going to be like a let's play. I need to fix this uh, these stairs. It's going to take forever to get down to like floor 5 and 6, you know, basement 5 and 6. Um, I'm going to have to change it to something where I can push a button and go up a floor, like with pistons or something like that. So I'll have to look around the net. That's going to be pretty sweet. Can't wait for that build. Uh, oh, we did it again, see? Keep getting stuck. Let's see here. Uh, I thought I had a button. No, it wouldn't be there. Oh, I will. I know I have stone in here, so let's just do this. Button. There we go. That'll be used. We'll use that for testing. So let me go back downstairs. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a little uh, piston elevator, some kind of elevator. I don't want to use frames because they're really slow. I want to be able to hit the button a bunch of times, go straight up, you know, bam, 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 like that. That'd be pretty sweet. So I got this button to simulate the button push from upstairs. Let's see. And as you can see, the time it stays on for a certain amount of time. Um, I think this is, I want to say 12 seconds. A lot of stuff is 12 seconds in this build. So after 12 seconds, it hits this, well, for 12 seconds, it hits this knot gate, which is going to turn off the pistons because the pistons are going to be active the whole time. So this goes behind this down to these pistons. So I think I actually need, well, no, water's going to be there. How did I do this? I think I had to do it some funky way like this or something. Because there's going to be water right here. So, pistons. I'm going to have to go down one more. And then I did this. Here's what I did. Oh, nope. That's, that too, that's too low? Yeah, the water should be right there. So it is too low. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Might as well get that one in here. Um, this will keep the pistons activated while the uh, farm is not being used. So that'll be nice. Um, normally I wouldn't... Do, I don't even need copper usually, except lately, just especially with like all the the uh, copper coil I've been doing and stuff, it's just been running out my resources. So the water will be right here, which means I should be able to run my red, red alloy wire right here because um, I'm just going to put some covers here, so let's see, let's do it like that, and then, let's see, I should be able to do it like this, yeah, there we go, fill this in, and then, oh, wait, no, not yet, not yet, need covers, need a lot of covers for this build, so I don't even know if this is enough, um, covers are going to have to be right here, right, yeah, there we go. I love these red power covers. It makes things so easy. Except getting out, apparently. Alright, that's good. Covers. Now I can put the water in. Can't put one there, so I'm going to have to put one... Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. There we go. What? That's weird. How am I going to get out of here? <laughs> this is weird. I've never had that happen. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so I guess I need to make some space here. Okay, cool. Now I can put this... Because uh, it wants to push you out of the way. You're not supposed to be able to just walk around like that. Alright, I should be able to do this now. Okay. That's all set up. Let's get the water in there now. How did I do this? I think I broke those off and put the water in, so that's what I'm going to do. Probably should have brought up two buckets. Let's see if I got two. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Hmm... 
Once I do that, I'll start setting up the dirt. So let's see. Setting up the dirt, and then I can set up the frame motors. All right, so I should be able to do this. Let's see, water there, water there. All right, this is gonna be so sweet. And then, oh, 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 what I wanna do is, I was gonna do it where I just had a timer, and wow, that's not updating. Um, a timer, and it would go off like five times in a row, but I think what I'm gonna do is just have a timer with a, a redstone um, lamp up there that way it'll tell me when it's ready to go again. So let's flood this place. Yeah, nice. Okay. It's going to do that for 12 seconds, and then it's going to shut off. That's interesting. It's going to run right up against my project thing. So there we go. Yeah, it shuts off. Um, obviously, we're going to have to have covers here. What I did is I, have, I had covers, but I'm also going to have to knock this out because I'm not going to have enough room. I think that's pretty standard anyway. I don't think there's usually something there. I think I messed up. So let's move this. This is obviously in the way. Let's move it to over here. Uh, let's see. Bam. Uh, this. All these pipes. Rip. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. I'll come back and get stuff as I need it. Um, I need those. That covers. I don't need this anymore. Don't need that. Alright, I'm good. Okay. So that's the water. And then this is going to be dirt gonna be a six by six spot so it's not gonna make a lot of uh, bread but it's gonna be nice to have it automated and it definitely what I'm what I'm thinking about doing and I'm not sure if you can do this with timers I'm not sure how long a timer will stay on but time how long it takes for the, the wheat to grow up and then have it cycle through five times because two three four five I don't want to have to push that thing every time I need bread you know uh, every time I go do something I'm pushing that freaking button uh, I'd like to push it once every, I don't know, few days or something, or uh, whatever it takes. You know, I want it to get me, I don't know, it would be nice to get a stack of bread out of this every time it runs. And then every time I use up a stack of bread, just hit the button again. Pretty sweet. You know, it'd be nice if I could uh, have something that, that, oh, you know, I probably could make something that automated it, like where it would kick off every time my bread got low in a certain container or something. That would be really cool. Um, so let's see, what am I going to do next? I probably should put, the, put this piece in here. This will make it so the water doesn't run all over the place. And if you let your water run all over the place, it actually doesn't get all the way down to the end. Um, I think it's six, and if it's not, I'll extend it. But also it can be running some blue electricity wiring and stuff in here. So this will be where it uh, dumps off. And I think I want it to be collected here. Because then it's going to go through the auto crafter and probably up into that tube. So, so uh, let's see. Let's fill this back in. All right. Because I want to try to keep it tidy. And I'm not going to be able to do that if I just let it run all the time. Now, I also dumped some water here. So let's get that going. Again, these builds are going to take a long time. Some of them just take a long time, so just bear with me here. Uh, okay, that looks good. And now, when I do it, let's, let's just uh, hit this thing again and see what happens. Nice. So that's going to wash all the junk off into the end there. And this water is going to collect it all down into this spot right there where I'm going to have an obsidian pipe. I can even put that in now if I want to. Let's just put that down just so we can know where it's going to be. The obsidian pipe will grab anything that comes into its block. Uh, and it'll suck it up into the tube. And I'm going to have it suck it up into a chest. So we'll put that there. Why don't I just put the chest right here? I think I had the chest in a different spot. Oh well, let's just do this. Let's just do it how I had it on test. Why screw around, right? So it's gonna come into, the, it's gonna work its way into this chest right here. Bam, okay. All right, cool. So that's set up. I think it's time to get my frames set up now. Frame motors, where do they go again? I think they go right there. A little higher than normal because they're going to be above my deployers. Which means now, now that I have all my lights set up, I can knock these torches off. I don't know why I set them up all perfect. 
it's all OCD and stuff. I actually wasn't sure I was going to set up the lamps the way I did. Oh, also, without those lamps, just say it now, I've set it up without the lamps, and the seeds won't grow. They actually disappear, so you're going to need those lamps. Um, I'm not tilling the soil as well, also, because this system will auto-till the soil as well. So I'll just let um, I'll just let my machine do that. Something this is eating something I didn't have to do on test. Oddly enough, well, I guess it's not odd, but so okay. I need this frames, deployers, and then might as well put my redstone tubes, and you'll see why I need those in a minute here. Don't think I need anything else for now anyway. I'll set up the electricity in a minute. So the frames went like this. How did I do this? Let's see, it's going to be backward, right? Which means it's going to start over here. Which means I... Let's see. I think I did it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's going to use this one too, I think. Actually, I think it only needs five. The sixth one might have been right there. I'm not positive. So let's see how I'm going to do this. I'll probably just have to set these blocks up. Oh, hate trying to put stuff on top of uh, covers. Not very fun. So after this, definitely going to do the uh, wool farm. That's probably next because it's something I generally need pretty often. Uh, let me look at my screenshot. How am I doing this? Yeah, I don't have one over the piston. And I have six right there. Hmm. So is that how I have this set up? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Ah, okay. You need something there. And maybe something there. Because that's not over the thing either. The first one of these starts there. Alright, let's do this. Hmm. Okay. This is not going to be fun. Okay, here we go. So these frames are pretty expensive frame motors, but they're awesome. And the reason I I could have had the uh, I could I could have not needed this many frame motors and just had the frames actually run across and just use like two frame motors. But what I wanted to do is I'm going to have to click these I think a couple times. And this goes this direction. What I wanted to do, though, is have just the center part move around. Because if you have frames moving all over the place, it uh, it would go through my, my uh, house's walls, so it wouldn't really work. Alright, so those are the frames. And this thing's backward. It's really jacking me up. And, okay, so the deployers are going to sit here when they're not doing anything. Which means I'm going to need probably another one of these. And like that. And then this, I think. The wiring in this thing is really complicated too. Um, for now, we'll just fill this in. I, I'll be moving that in a second though, probably. And then we can put the one in there so it doesn't overrun it. Hmm. So I've also um, finished the contest. I already know who's going to be... Well, you guys know. You guys saw the video. It's going to be cool. There's a couple things I need to do before I get you guys on the channel. I want to um, let's just set this thing right up in the middle. I want to uh, world guard the city first, and then I also want to... Um, what do I want to do? There's one more thing I need to do. Oh, move the quarry area to the ocean. I think there was three things I needed to do, and I can't remember what the other third one was. Oh, get vent set up which I hopefully already did over the weekend, but I'm so busy. I'm going on I, I'm on vacation, actually. So if, if this video is going up Tuesday, I'm on vacation Wednesday. Um, so again, another vacation. Really kind of annoying as far as making videos. Um, going to my wife's family reunion, so... Anyway, uh, let's get these covers set up here. So I'm going to put covers here, and that, that way the frames won't grip on to these frame motors. I don't think they would anyway, but, oh, I know why I'm doing this. Because when it gets to the edge, there's a part where there's no frame motor. And so it'll stick to that part, and I really don't want it to do that. Also, I don't need to run electricity to all these guys. I only have to power one of the frames, uh, just like you saw with the sorters, and then everything else will be fine. 
I'm not going to set these up quite yet because the deployers, because it makes it hard to get it uh, around in here. Oops. Again, these covers are to keep these parts from sticking to the sides of walls. So, while I don't think I need them for this build, I just do it just in case something goes wrong that I didn't anticipate. Um, so I'm also going to need to destroy these. Let's see. It's much easier now that I know what I'm doing, man. It took me forever on test to do this. Again, this is probably like a eight-hour endeavor to figure all this out. But it's sweet. It's super compact. And, uh, I mean, who doesn't like... Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, that's the same. Who doesn't like... Um, auto farm, you know? You don't have to do all that freaking farming and stuff. Now, there is an auto farm that comes with Tekkit. It's called, uh, what's it called? Oh, man, the Matron or something? Matron? Crop Matron. Uh, what it does is works with special kind of crop stuff in IC2, but um, it didn't seem as autumn, it didn't feel as like I could automate it as much as I could this system, so I just decided not to go with it. Uh, let's get the rest of this system set up. So over here, we're going to have another um, knot gate. And what I'm setting up here is what I'm going to use to uh, deploy seeds and stuff. So that's going to run over this direction. How does this thing work? Yeah, I think it runs off the side here. And my thing, it went off that way. We'll have to do it off this side. That's going to be interesting. So then it went to a sequencer, or a pulse former, sorry. Because so all I want to do is fire off a uh, state cell with that thing. The state cell is going to run for a certain amount of seconds. And I think it's, I want to say it's 12, 14 seconds. It gives the thing enough time to wash off the water. Then it starts to, to hit the sea, or sorry, that probably made people dizzy. Then it hits a timer, and uh, so this runs all the way off the side. It hits a timer that's going to, oh, it does run right here. Okay, we, we need to clear all this out. It hits a timer that's going to deploy seeds. It, well, it, double, it clicks the deployer twice. The first click is going to use the hoe. And the second click is going to deploy a seed. All this is solid block. I forgot about that. So we got solid blocks all the way across here. Then we got this thing coming down right here. And there's a bunch of extra stuff here. That's why I did it over here. Hmm, I might not be able to do it this on this side. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, that's not really going to work because there's a bunch of extra redstone over here. I wonder if I could just do it underneath. Could do that. Hold on a second, let me figure this out. That's all the time we have for this video, and we're going to be doing more of this in the next video. As you can see, I've actually already built this whole thing, and I want to show it to you, but I'm trying to split this thing up into 30-minute chunks, and it, there's going to be a couple more videos on this thing. It's a big build, and there's a lot of uh, troubleshooting. I might cut some of that out. Anyway, if uh, you like this video, please like and comment and all that, and let me know what you think about this build so far. And I've also got a link in the description now where I'm going to be answering questions and stuff, talking about this series, and also having all, all my links will be there, like the links for this fax texture, texture pack that I said I was going to um, host. I'm going to put those there. It's a link to the Minecraft forums so that you guys can maybe help support me there, um, start talking in that thread and talking about these videos and stuff, and maybe we can bring in some more Dunge Crafters, so that'd be pretty cool, more DG Army members. And uh, let me know what you think, and please check the description, video description for the link to the Minecraft forums. See you later, dudes.